Well, people have always wondered, can Republicans tell the difference between a crime and a coup? But I'm pretty sure they can't. Um, the clouds of tear gas hadn't even cleared the battle-scarred ha um, battle hallways of the United States um, Capitol complex before Republicans, led by the, House by the House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, set about writing an alternate history of the insurrection that their squatter and party had gleef gleefully incited. Um, an organized conservator disinformation campaign turned violent rioters into peaceful tourists, which was anything but the opposite. It was violent. Um, the Republican lawmakers refused to even speak to D.C. police officer Michael Fanone and other officers seriously wounded by the Trumpist mob. McCarthy, in an effort to delay and derail any government effort to uncover the truth, argued that any January 6th commission should also investigate last, last summer's Black Lives Matter protest. Even the folks at Faux News slammed that half-baked idea. Um, on Tuesday, though, the bipartisan January 6th Select Committee that was, uh, and that was impaneled by, um, speaker, by, the, by the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi began their critical fact-finding after rejecting the dead weight of McCarthy's self-selected obstructionists. For Illinois Representative Adam Kinzinger, one of, um, one of only two Republicans on the commission, McCarthy's Black Lives Matter um, comparison was simply too much to bear. Some have concocted um, a counter-narrative to discredit this process on the grounds that we didn't launch a similar investigation into the urban riots and, and looting last summer, Kinzinger said during an, an emotional opening statement. There is a difference between breaking the law and rejecting the rule of law between a crime, even grave crimes, and a coup. Kinzinger's moral clarity, um, moral clarity will disappoint his Republican colleagues, many of whom now see the tying protests and riots in Portland and other cities to the Capitol insurrections as their last means of minimizing their own complicity in a direct attack on the American government. Um... When the far-right um, lawmakers like McCarthy, Louis Gomer, Matt, the pedophile Matt Gage, and others compare January 6th to Black Lives Matter's riots, they're hoping to excite two thoughts in their listeners' minds. First, that these two events are equivalent, and then that the Democrats didn't think it was a national emergency when their side did it. But no one denies that the United States faced widespread and often deeply troubling protests during the summer of 2020. Um, between May and August, the armed conflict location and the Bent Data Project recorded over 10,500 distinct um, demonstrations touching nearly every major um, community in America. But what is critical to add, and what Republicans hope to obscure by comparing these protests to the Capitol riot, is that fully 93% of last summer's demonstrations were peaceful acts of projected speech. The January 6th insurrection was decidedly not. But faced with faced with largely peaceful protests, the GOP um, the GOP fear machine the um, fear machine jumped into overdrive, borrowing from the left wing organizer and conservative boogeyman. Saul Alinsky, who but the Republicans quickly um, pu publicized individual isolated inst instances of violence as being as being representative as being represent re representative of the entire Black Lives Matter movement. It was under that collective delusion that Trump encouraged a massively expensive all-out police response that briefly turned Washington D.C. into Fallujah. Um, this polar this um this polarized and publicized um and publicized approach helped solidify the image of the Black Lives Matters as violent and anti-American in, conservati in conservatars' minds. Even as it divorced Republicans from reality, in one particular um, ridiculous instance, the Trump administration had used a single instance of looting in Manhattan to declare all of New York City an anarchist of jurisdiction. Um, the American people would need to drop all sense of nuance, context, and, and, and proportion to believe that myth, and that's exactly what the Republicans are hoping will happen. But among the um, among the Republicans whining that the January 6 rioters have been treated unfairly, and in, in, in Senator is um is Senator Rand Paul, who joined Go Gomer's unhinged calls from the Capitol insurrectionists to be released from jail. Paul, who has repeatedly and incorrectly claimed the Capitol mob was nonviolent, because because they were, is he's basically a vocal supporter of McCarthy's Black Lives Matter um commission publicity stunt. Um, the Republicans are no strangers to the power of false equivalencies. But their latest effort to avoid accountability finally pushed Kinzinger to an emotional breaking point. Kinzinger has seen the difference between protest and insurrection up close. Basically, he was called on to serve during the summer riots as an air as an air national guardsman. Basically, he condemned those riots and the destruction of the of the property that resulted. In Kinzinger said, "But but not once did I ever feel that the future of self-government was threatened, like I did on January 6." When Kinzinger condemns opportun opportunistic um, Republican attempts to compare Black Lives Matter to the violent January 6 insurrections who shattered U.S. Capitol Police Sergeant uh, um, um, 
Aquila knows um Gonell's foot with stolen with the stolen speaker. He uh, um he is also hoping to head off a wave of performative um Black Lives Matter commissions that Republican leaders hope to establish in red in the red state legislators across the country. Imagine a January sixth commission where every member is Jim Jordan. That's a good idea of the fireworks Republicans would hope to generate from an all GOP investigation into black into the Black Americans' political activism. The GOP's desperate attempt to change the subject was shifted wildly before finally settling before finally settling on the Black Lives Matters as a reliable villain. But back in May, the public hunts wanted to launch a similar investigation into Antifa's role in the Capitol attack, which it had not done. Um, then de facto um, GOP spokesperson Fucker Carlton accused the FBI of masterminding the attack, which they didn't. <coughs> Turning their turning their fire on the Black Americans may may be all Republicans have left, after facing a stinging round of of denunciations from the Capitol Police officers that they have publicly abandoned. Sergeant Gonell called the January 6th insurrection a treasonous act, which it really was, and expressed frustration that Republican lawmakers lined up to support officers when they were putting down Black Lives Matter protests in Washington D.C. last hour, but it disappeared when the perpetrators of violence were fellow Republicans. It was not Antifa. It was not Black Lives Matter. It was not the FBI. He said at the Capitol interactions, um, all of them said that Trump sent us. Kinsinger said, Kinsinger and the only other Republicans on the commission, which is Wyoming, which is Wyoming Representative Liz Cheney, they both seem uh, they both seem acutely aware that the, that the Republicans' war in reality is already causing a serious corrosive effect in our institutions of self-government. Cheney, who's no friend of the Black Lives Matter movement, never, nevertheless refused to join McCarthy and the Trumpists in their efforts to turn to turn this investigation and to yet another means to criminalize black Americans. Kinsinger and Cheney have demonstrated admirable patriotism in not only seeking the truth about the January 6th insurrection, but they but they also um but but it also in rejecting the multiple GOP attempts to, to dodge blame by spearing Black Lives Matter and, and the Democratic organizations. Their commitment to the truth is reassuring. But Congress will need more than Cheney and Kinsinger if it tends if it intends to prove the GOP from, from wrecking havoc on the on the very idea of truth. And, um, and facts. Um, so if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, RBW King, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And thanks for listening.